It actually goes for Heat Wave. Hits Auto. So that thing isn't even a f What's up guys, welcome back to hopefully the last episode of the Pokemon Blaze Black 2 Redux series. It's been a long journey, but here we are at the Pokemon League. If you guys are excited, make sure you drop a like, and let's get straight into it, man. Real quick, oh, wait, I don't want to go in yet. So I did prepare, I got the items that I need, and I also made some changes to the team. So Eomega, he's now, no longer has Fly, I gave it Earthquake, so that I can kind of deal with any Steel types that usually... Well, it walled it before, and with Erwin, I got rid of Strength, and I gave it Crunch. So it finally has a Dark-type move in its move set that it desperately needed. So, with that being said, I'm ready to go in and get this fight started. Ooh, you guys ready, guys? I hope you guys are ready. I am certainly ready. We're going to go into the left room first. I have no idea who any of these trainers are or what they specialize in. Right off the rip, this looks like a ghost trainer. Yeah, this is definitely a ghost trainer. Alright, so if you're a ghost trainer, I'm going to... Might be psychic though as well. Eomega, you're definitely not going to be out here if you're a ghost trainer. Alright, I might put Erwin like in the middle. Just in case it's a triple battle, and if it's a double battle, he'll stay here. And if it's a single battle, I would rather have uh, Jack up front early. Yeah, we can rock we can rock something like this. Actually, no no no. No, I lied. I don't want to rock something like that. If I want to use Jack, I'd probably use it with Otta. Yeah, let's do Lucky. Let's do Lucky. Alright, let's go. I'm ready. Definitely ghost. No way this is not ghost. What was that? There is one man who wanders the world. With a black dragon Pokemon to pursue ideals. That's part of a novel I'm writing. I want to write down the event that happened on that day. Sorry, it has nothing to do with you. Oh, we've met before, haven't we? Yes, at the Charizard Bridge. It's wonderful that you're here. To a challenger of the Pokemon League, allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm the Elite Floors Ghost type Pokemon user Chantel, and I shall be your opponent. Oh, that fuck. Hey. Nah, this music right here is going crazy, bro. What? She looked like a ghost. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so it is a triple battle. I I'm not surprised. All these battles feel like triple or double battles. All level 77. Let's see how this goes for us. You see a Gengar over there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flare blitz on the Miss Magius, right? And then I'm going to crunch on the Gengar. And I'm going to... No, not Leaf Seed. I'm going to try to put the Sable out of sleep. Because it probably has Prankster. It might have Will-O-Wisp. Hopefully. Well, he can't trick me because I'm a Dark type, right? Or is that a Gen 7 thing? Nope. Okay, apparently that's a Gen 7 thing. That's super unfortunate. Oh, we wait. We're still faster? No way. Well, there goes Gengar. The lagging tail, isn't that supposed to make my speed like, or like make me go last in priority bracket? Maybe because I got it this turn, I still went first? I don't know. Flare Blitz still on the Miss Magius. That should take it out, honestly. Nope, it lives somehow. Unfortunate, but we get some HP back. Dazzling Gleam, that's definitely to go after Erwin. Erwin and Lucky, hopefully that doesn't, okay, it doesn't KO us, perfect. Sleep powder on you so you don't be annoying anymore. Alright, cool. Alright, so what we're gonna do is, right? Here's a chandelier out. Okay, interesting. It's air balloon chandelier. Okay. So we can't hit that thing, right? So what I think I wanna do is I want to We can just get rid of this with flare blitz, right? And then I'm going to crunch on the shandy, I guess. And then we can just like Giga Drain on Sableye. So yeah, the Lucky, I mean the Lagging Tail is in effect now. Lucky, uh, Erwin didn't go first. So hopefully that Chandelure goes after Ivy and not Erwin, but it's probably going to go after Erwin. 
Level 78 for Ivy. Giga Drain comes out here. I should have actually put the Chandelure to sleep. I didn't know I'd be faster. Energy Ball. That's uh, definitely going after Erwin. Ah, I should have put the Chandelure to sleep. Okay, it's all good. I think we're, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Sableye still asleep. Perfect. All right. We can go into auto here, I think. He goes into Golurk on the left side. All right, so we're definitely going to have to target that Golurk. I'm not going to lie. I'm not really worried about the Chandelure. So we're going to Flare Blitz on the Golurk. And then I'm going to Dragon Pulse on it as well. And then since we know we're faster than the Chandelure, we're actually going to put the Chandelure to sleep. So Dragon Pulse comes out here. I don't think this is going to KO the Golurk. It might... Okay, no, it doesn't. Like I didn't I didn't think it would, honestly. Flare Blitz though should finish the job. Okay, perfect. Good double down there. We should be faster now with Ivy. Auto levels up to level 78. Sleep powder by Ivy lands. Let's go. This is a great start for us. Alright, and the Sableye. What is what is the Sableye gonna do? It wakes up, it clicks Shadow Claw, it's Life 4 boosted, unfortunately, so it's going to do quite a bit of damage. Doesn't do too much, though. Jellicent comes out here. Alright. Good to know, good to know. Alright, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to double down on the Jellicent. Yep, and then I'm going to just Giga Drain on Sableye. We actually get a crit there, which is perfect. So now I think the playoff is going to hit the Shandy, right? And it's going to break its air balloon. Yep. Okay. So it hits the Shandy, breaks the air balloon. That does a lot. We got a crit. We got a double crit. Nice. Yo, my team is locked in. Double crit. We're locked in. We're ready to get this, uh, to get this W to finish the series. Shandy's still asleep. Let's go. Alright, this is the last Pokemon alive, so this pretty much means this battle is over. We can just double up, triple up on this Shandy, who's unfortunately asleep and has no idea what it's about to get hit with. And, alright, that is the first Elite Four member beaten, defeated. Let's go. Nice. Alright, great start, great start. My Pokemon and the Challengers Pokemon, everyone battled even though they were hurt. Thank you. Um, my Pokemon weren't hurt, but uh, go off, Shoddy. Alright, here we are. She has been defeated. Let's go ahead and heal real quick. I came prepared, so I should have all the items that I need to heal my team back up. Where's my revives at? Right here. 17 of them. Only gotta use it on Erwin. I should have bought some elixirs, but I think we'll be okay. We should have some elixirs just chilling. All right, so we're going to challenge this room now. I have no idea. Like I said, I don't know who these trainers are. This looks like an arena. So this might be like a fighting gym. That looked like a like, kind of like a wrestling cage. I have no idea what this guy is. He might be ground. I'm going to lead with Ivy right now because if he's ground, then we match up well. When he's fighting, we also match up well. So, let's go. You look familiar? Ah, uh, yes. I met you at Twisted Mountain during an incident with Team Plasma. The strength you are radiating is far greater now than before. Well then, greetings, challenger. Allow me to introduce myself once more. My name is Marshall. I am the number one pupil of my mentor, Alder. In order to master the art of fighting, I've kept training. Ah, uh, so he's a fighting type trainer. You're also walking a similar path with your Pokemon. It is my intention to test you, to take you to the limits of your strength. I'm not saying that. Alright, so we got Marshall. Up next, the fighting type trainer. Like I said, Ivy, I thought he would either be like fighting or like ground or something. It's a double battle. Interesting. Infernape and him on top. Alright, so who do we have? We have Ivy and Erwin, right? Alright, so we should be faster than the Infernape. Oh, it actually has Intimidate, which is unfortunate. So I don't think this um, 
high horsepower as in the KO now. If that's the case, all right, so I'm gonna sleep powder on the hit mon. No, no, no. Yeah, we sleep powder on the hit on top. And then I'm gonna high horsepower on Infernape. I don't expect Erwin to do much in this fight anyways. Uh, he winds up close, uh, faking me out, which is fine, I guess. I don't expect Erwin to do much in this fight anyways, so getting some damage off on this Infernape is actually really good. And we actually KO in one shot. Oh, no, it's Focus Ash. Unfortunate. Let's see who he goes after. Probably Jack. Yeah. All right. I'm not even mad, honestly. Erwin did what he was supposed to do. He got the damage off on the Infernape, who was sashed. And he opened up the path for... I guess we can take out Lucky now. Actually, no, no, no. I don't want to take out Lucky now. We can go Otta. Right? We can go Otta. And then I'm just going to pretty much do the same thing. I'm going to get rid of the... Infernape and then put the him on top to sleep. Infernape is down. Hopefully the sleep powder lands. It does. Perfect. Alright, like I said, our Pokemon are locked in, man. We're we're ready. Alright, so we got a Lucario out here on an air balloon. So we're just gonna double down on it, I guess. Unfortunately, it resists both of our attacks because it is on an air balloon. We're going to pop it here. I don't think it can KO any of us with any attack. Dragon Pulse does a lot. It clicks Rock Slide, which actually might KO Otta. I'm not going to lie. Oh, it did nothing. What? That's embarrassing damage by Lucario. Alright, we're just going to Giga Drain onto him on top. And then we're going to Dragon Pulse on Lucario. There goes Lucario. He has four more Pokemon left. Giga Drain on the hit on top. It's gonna do a little bit of damage. Him on top is pretty defensive. Triple Axel. Oh, he clicked that on the wrong Pokemon. If you would have clicked that triple axel on Otto, Otto would have been destroyed. He only hits twice, which is very fortunate for us. Toxicroak comes out here. I'm not worried about that thing at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna target this hit on top. Now that we know that it's triple axel. So let's get rid of it now. Alright, we get the KO there. Like I said, I'm not worried about that Toxic Croak at all. It should not be able to threaten me in any way. It has Icy Wind. I lied. Okay, that's not going to do too much, but it's going to lower our speed. We auto should still be faster, I think. Maybe, potentially. Conk comes out. Okay, yeah, so we're definitely gonna be faster than the Conk. For sure, for sure. Alright, I'm gonna put the Conk to sleep. And then I'm gonna Scorching Sands on the Toxic Croak. Toxic Croak was faster, but he targets um Ivy instead of targeting Otta, so he gets KO'd by Scorching Sands. Yep. And then if Ivy's faster than Conk, which I think it should be. We get a sleep powder here. Nope. Oh, wow. So we were fast. So it was faster, but Otta dodged the rock slide, which is amazing. Because it definitely would have been KO'd there. Oh, well. And it gets his flame orb. That's pretty much why I wanted to put the conch to sleep. I knew it had probably had flame orb. So that's pretty unfortunate. Um, with the lead that we have right here, we can go and target separate Pokemon. Uh, Sludge Bomb will KO Breloom, and I'm pretty sure this is going to do a lot. Yep, does a lot. Breloom decides to target Otta, so Otta is done for. Rock Slide is going to come out on Ivy. This doesn't shouldn't do too much, even though his gut's boosted. He gets another flinch, so he, keeps, he just keeps flinching me. This is unfortunate. He's about to die to his burn, though, right? So with that being said, if he's going to die to his burn, we might as well just go lucky, right? We can go lucky and just play rough. Actually, no, we can just go Lucky and Flare Blitz. What am I saying? Man, we just Flare Blitz here. And Breloom is going to get popped. Yup, there goes Breloom. 
and then the conch is gonna get KO'd by the end of the turn because of its burn. So that is another battle secured. We're going crazy in this Elite Four, bro. They cannot handle us. Dude, this Elite Four is easier than that weather team, bro. That weather team outside that Lance was training, them, they should have been the Elite Four. Those dudes were toxic. Ooh, well done. Alright, we out. We are making short work of these quote unquote Elite Fours. Uh, nothing elite about them so far, but I don't want to talk smack too early in case we get popped. So let's go ahead and revive. Um, definitely lost a lot more Pokemon this time around than we did against the Ghost user. But that is expected since fighting types are pretty strong and we didn't really match up too well against them. We're all good here and we're going to continue on to the next Elite Four member. I have no idea. Like, again, I don't have any idea what these typings are. It's this guy. He looks dark. I'm not going to lie. So if he is dark, I'm going to lead with Jack. I'm going to lead with Jack if he's a dark type. Keep Otto in the back. <sighs> You're a tenacious one, kid. Here you are, the Pokemon League. Old Grimsley decided he wasn't ready to lead the Elite Four yet, you see. What will be determined here is which of us can absorb the opponent's light and shine, but who will decide that? It shall be I, Grimsley of the Elite Four, and I will fulfill my duty to be your opponent. Hopefully you give me more of a challenge than your friends did, buddy. He leads with Crocodile. Interesting, interesting lead, interesting lead. Is he Moxie or is he Intimidate? So he's Intimidate. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to Shell Smash turn 1. I don't think Krook has anything for me that can really threaten me like that. Even though he is 4 levels higher than me, I just realized that. He clicks Eat Death, might KO me, I'm not going to lie. I just realized that he's 4 levels higher than me. Uh Oh, wow, we live. Okay. Alright, hopefully you're not Focus Ash. If it is, uh, then I mean... Oh, well, right? Oh, he's not Focus Ash. So cool. We get the KO there. Perfect. Let's see if he has... He has a Haunch Crow. Are you going to Sucker Punch me? Dude, I feel like this thing has Sucker Punch. Why oh, do I feel like this thing has Sucker Punch? Um, What's it do? What's it do? If he has Sucker Punch... There's nothing I can do, right? I'm just going to Ice Beam. He doesn't have Sucker Punch. What? Why did you go into this then? He gets absolutely destroyed. Wow, why did you go into this? That is crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Sharpedo comes out here. Even if you're a speed boost, which I think you are, we should still be fashioning you after a protect. Get the close combat off there. That should be an Oko. Ah, here's your focus, Ash user. I knew you'd have one. Alright, let's see if he threw. No, he clicks crunch, makes the right play. And Jack goes down. To be fair, he did a lot of work. A lot more than I thought he would. So, can't get mad at him for that. Alright, so I'm going to go into... He has crunch, right? We're just going to go into Ivy, I think. Alright, so we got the Sharpedo here. I'm going to Giga Drain here. It's going to crunch me. It's going to do a little bit of damage, but not too much. Yep. We don't get a flinch, which is perfect. And we KO the Sharpedo here. Let's see what else he has in the back. I expect maybe like a Tyranitar. Um, I don't know what else. Oh, well, there goes the Tyranitar now. All right, so I'm gonna Giga Drain the Sting for sure. It doesn't seem to be Sand uh, Stance uh, Stream, whatever that move is. Sorry, Stand Stream. So its special attack isn't. Special defense isn't crazy. Dragon Dance is on me. It's probably like battle armor, right? It probably is. I think they gave this thing battle armor in this ROM hack. Dragon Dance, Stone Edge is actually faster than me. That's going to do a lot. Oh my god, you got to crit. You've got to be kidding me. Uh, how are we looking right now, guys? I'm not going to lie. I don't know if we're looking good right now. 
If he has EQ, he's gonna KO me. If he has EQ, he's gonna KO me. Do we have to... I think we might have to... Well, we might have to go Erwin here. Because he shouldn't have anything for me that's gonna KO me on hit, if I'm being honest. And then I can just high horsepower. Oh, we're actually faster. Alright, cool. So if he had like Stone Edge, it wasn't gonna KO me because we resist that. If he had Crunch, it wasn't gonna KO me. Probably had like EQ as his last move, which I don't think would have KO'd me. It would have done a lot though. But uh, our boy Erwin is able to secure the KO. He goes into Drapion now, which is perfect because we do have that EQ, or not EQ, high horse power for it. And we are plus one. So this should be an easy KO. I wonder who his last is. Zorark. Wait, why didn't you send us in earlier? Wait, what? He had a Zorark all the way in the back. If he would have sent it out earlier, the Zorark's ability would have came into play and it would have disguised itself as like one of his other Pokemon. But because he waited so long to bring this out, it has nothing to disguise itself as, so it's just a Zorark. L play by Grimsley, I'm not gonna lie, it has an L play and he winds up getting destroyed for it. He could have easily like disguised this thing as like Honchkrow and like if I would have like clicked like, you know what I'm saying, like Ice Beam or something or like Thunderbolt, I mean, I don't have any Thunderbolt, but like, you know what I'm saying, like anything to like hit the ice typing, I mean, the flying typing and not the dark typing, he would have lived and like gotten some damage off on me. Whether or not you get to the fight at full strength, whether or not luck smiles on you, none of that matters, only results matter. A loss is a loss. See, victory shines like a bright light, and right now you and your Pokemon are shining brilliantly. Hmm, he's spinning right now. Alright, so cool. So we got rid of the third elite member. Like I said, these battles aren't too bad. I honestly expected a little bit more of a challenge, but like I said, I don't want to speak too early because we can get bit in the butt by the next challenger. Alright, final elite four member. Here we are. I wonder who this is going to be. It looks very sparkly in here, I'm not gonna lie. Fairy type? Normal type? This is giving fairy, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it's her, Caitlyn. I remember her. This is giving, like, I don't even know what it's giving. I might just put E Omega, because if it's psychic, then we match up well. If it's fairy, we match up well. And you might, you could be normal as well. I mean, normal doesn't really match up well against anyone, honestly. So you look like a Pokemon trainer possessing both strength and kindness. As I said before, what I look for in my opponents is superb strength. I'm counting on you. All right. See what she got. See what type trainer she is. Mershana. Oh, okay, so she's a psychic type trainer. It's a double battle. And then we have Jack, right? I mean, Erwin. Oh yeah, this is this is looking lovely right now, guys. I'm, I, I'm <laughs> I know Jack's mouth is salivating right now. This is looking lovely. So we're gonna Meteor Mash on the Mershana because it is a fairy type and we're gonna crunch on the Zatsu, which should KO it. Jack is looking at this fight right now like barbecue chicken. Oh, it's Focus Sash, of course it is. All right, we have the Meteor Mash to land. This should KO Mershana. I just noticed that we are four levels lower, but we are EV trained and we are that Muscle Band. Nice, so we do get the KO there. E Omega gets a level up. Oh, no, he doesn't. I lied. Trick Room. Oh, Lord. That's not good for us at all because all of our Pokemon are really fast. Darmanitan. Oh, this. Oh, Lord. She has this. Wait, you can just have it like this? What? Alright, so he's definitely going to target. He's definitely going to target E Omega, right? With like a fire type attack. So I'm going to go into. Jack is going to do much in this fight, anyways. So we're going to go into Jack just to like eat the attack. And we're just gonna KO the Darn. I mean, we're gonna KO the Zatsu here. Maybe I should have went after the Darn first. I don't know. Focus Blast. Ah, uh, he read me like a bug. I'm not gonna lie. I thought he would go after E Omega. So damn, the Zatsu lives here. It clicks Heat Wave. All right, so at least we don't take too much damage. All right, so from this position, we have that thing out, psychic types. I'm gonna go into Lucky here, right? I'm gonna go into Lucky. I 
I'm going to... I don't even know what to do here. You know what? I lied. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Hmm. I actually don't know what to do here. Oh, wait. I just ice beam you, right? And then I just high horsepower you. Yeah, I forgot I had this move. Focus Blast is going to hit... Who? Alright, it's going to hit Jack. That is literally doing so much damage. Why? Is it Choice Specs? Giga Drain on Lucky isn't going to do too much. That has to be like Choice Specs, right? Like, I don't I don't know that thing's stats. But like, there's no way you just KO'd me with Focus Blast. That did nothing. Dude, Trick Room is a threat. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what to do against this Trick Room. Alright, I think he's Choice Specs. I'm not going to lie. I think he's Choice Specs. So I'm gonna go into Darm here. All right? I mean not Darm, I'm gonna go to E Omega. All right. And then I'm going to Actually what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch again. Heat Wave is gonna come out, right? I'm gonna switch to Auto. And then I'm gonna high horsepower Darm again. Alright, so I expect like a focus blast on to Auto. It actually goes for Heat Wave. Hits Auto. So that thing isn't even. F bro, why does that do so much damage? I don't understand, bro. What is that thing's stats? I have to find out. Like, I want to look up what that thing's stats are because that is ridiculous. That is just completely demolishing my team right now. Alright, we finally get rid of it. And I think Trick Room should end right now. On this turn, the Omega levels up. Nope, we still gotta deal with Trick Room. All right, I'm gonna go Ivy now. All right, perfect, perfect. This is perfect for me. All right, Trick Room, please end. Nope, Trick Room is still going on. All right, so I'm gonna switch. This I have to play around this Trick Room. I don't want Lucky to die here. I'm gonna Giga Drain there. I'm gonna. S no, I can't. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. All right, we're gonna we're gonna make the play. Hopefully this doesn't this doesn't ruin me because then we have to fight the E4 all over again. If if I lose this fight. Okay, it goes for Nasty Plot. All right, that's perfect, right? Because Trick Room is about to end. Giga Drain here. This should do a lot. Almost KOs it. Heat wave. I don't know why you would heat wave there, but okay. Doesn't really do much. Please tell me Trick Room ends. Please. It should end now. Like it should literally end now. Thank you. Finally. Okay. Okay, we're in the game. We're we're back in. We're back in. We are back in. Alright, so I'm just gonna sludge bomb on the slow bro. And then I'm going to ice punch on the Zatu. Alright, we're back in the fight. I'm not gonna lie guys, I was really scared. I thought we were gonna lose. If Trick Room did not end there, we would have lost. Alright, we're back in the fight. Get some HP back. Okay, he has his own Metagross. No problem. I'm not worried about that. And he has a Gallade. Alright, that's a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. Somebody floating on the air balloon, I think it was the Metagross. I'm gonna try to put it to sleep. Alright, and then I'm going to Meteor Mash on Gallade. Oh my god, I missed. You gotta be kidding me, bro. You cannot be serious right now. You cannot be serious. I missed both. Psycho Cut on who? Alright, so they, they double target Ivy. Okay. Are these your last? It's Life Word. I wonder if these are her last. Yeah, they are. Okay, so it's a we're, we got an even match up here. All right, so I'm going to Flare Blitz here on Metagross, and then I'm going to Meteor Mash again on Gallade. If I can just hit this Meteor Mash, the Gallade is going to get KO'd. Just please. It lives. We got a burn. Ooh, that's really good. 
We hit. Oh, oh my god. I'm not gonna let my heart drop. I thought he missed again. That kills. Okay. Metagross is burned. What's it gonna click? Meteor Mash. That's the wrong person to put Meteor Mash on. Alright, I think we win. Let's go. Let's go. Like I said, I didn't want to say that this is gonna be a cakewalk, because I'm not gonna lie, Kayla gave me a run for my money. Dude, her team was threatening. I'm not gonna lie. Her team was super threatening. You managed to defeat the entire league for the Pokemon League. Check the statue in the center of the plaza for the way to the champions room. Dude, holy shit. That was hard. Like, oh my god. I mean, almost lost because... Uh, dude, we literally almost lost. All right, guys. Champion time. My team is all healed up. I've applied elixirs and ethers wherever they needed to be applied to. And I think I'm ready. Let's see who the champion is. I have no idea, honestly. I know in black and white, it was Iris. I don't know if it's Iris again here. I doubt it. But we're finna find out. We're finna find out. What a journey, man. This ROM hack has been so much fun. I'm fortunate to... I think we're at a 12 resets. Uh, not resets, but... uh, Like, um... Whiteouts. Oh, man. This... Oh, it is Iris. Holy sh... Bro, look, at, look how fire this looks, bro. Welcome, Challenger. I've been waiting for this. Dude. What am I looking at right now? <sighs> Alright, guys. Are we ready? This is for all the marbles. This is for all the glory right here. Let's get it. I'm ready. Let's get it. Know what? I really look forward to having serious battles with strong trainers. I mean, come on. The trainers who make it here are trainers who desire victory with every fiber of their being. And they are battling alongside Pokemon that have been through countless difficult battles. If I battle with people like that, not only will I get stronger, but my Pokemon will too. And we'll get to know each other even better. Okay, brace yourself. I'm Iris, the Pokemon League champion. I'm going to defeat you. We finna find out, Iris. Let's go. Fire. Fire. What is that face? What the hell is that? <laughs> Alright, she leaves with Superior. Who we got? Who we got? I think we have uh, Ivy? Oh, we got Yo Omega. Perfect. Listen, that's a great lead for me. Great lead. This Ice... This Ice Punch for the Hurt. It leaves Storms, which, I mean, that's what Superior does. It leaves Storms to boost its attack. But this Ice Punch is definitely gonna hurt. Oh, it's no way. Yachi Berry? That's unfortunate. I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna live, right? Yeah. I think I think we still eat whatever it hits. It throws out at us, right? Okay, Glarious. Yeah. That's okay, I think. Is this gonna paralyze us? As long as we yeah, we break through. I don't think we need this thing for anything, right? I mean, she does have quite a bit of dragon types on the team, I think. She's like a dragon type player uh trainer. But I think we should be okay. Hydreigon comes out here. Probably to click like a dark type move, so I'm gonna go into Lucky right now. Lucky's gonna threaten this thing crazy with a play rough. Does not wanna stay in on Lucky. And I expect like a Dark Pulse to come out here. Yep, Dark Pulse. That shouldn't do too much. Yep. Eat that up. Play rough here. Does it land? It lands. Lucky is locked in, hitting his attacks. The shiny rapid ash that we found all the way at Flossy Ranch is going crazy in the championship battle. Let's go. And Polion comes out here. Alright. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let Lucky go. Should I let Lucky go down here or should I just go Eomega? Omega? Nah, we can just go Eomega. Omega. E Omega is paralyzed, it's not gonna do much for us. And it has Earthquake now, so we can actually hit steel types. That was something that we couldn't really do before. But now that I put Earthquake on this thing, um, if it lives this and it's somehow faster than Napoleon, then we can get off a nice damage off on the uh, EQ, but I doubt we are. It goes for Hydro Pump twice. Should I? No, I think this thing carries Grass Knot, right? I'm pretty sure this thing carries Grass Knot, so I'm not going to even bother trying to set up with Jack. I might, I might just go for just a straight raw close combat. 
may not be the best play for us. So yeah, let's just raw close combat here. I don't want to set up on it just in case it has something that's gonna like grass knot or something. It might not, but I just don't want to take any chances. Well, then we can just KO it there with one close combat. Jack is doing his thing. Alakazam comes out here. Interesting. Um. Hmm. All right, I'm, I'm expecting a psychic move, right? Hopefully, it doesn't click like a grass move. So we're gonna go Erwin here. Oh, damn! I knew it was gonna click like a, I knew it was gonna click like energy bar or something. All right, so I think Erwin is gonna get KO'd here. Oh, it lives. Okay, good job, Erwin. Nice. All right, all right. So we're going to just crunch here for faster. Hopefully, okay, we are faster. This should KO it. Focus Ash. Oh, can we can we flinch? Flinch? No, no flinch. All right, that's okay. That is okay. If Erwin is faster, that means the Ada is faster. Unfortunately, Erwin goes down there. He didn't get to do too much in this fight, but that's okay. He's opened up the path for Otter to come in here. And you know what? You can't touch me. We're quiver dancing here. We're going for the sweep, baby. Hey, look, we're going for the sweep. I'm going for the 6 0. Oh, wait, I can't even say 6 0. We already lost, what, like two Pokemon? Psyshock is not going to KO me. No way. Not in one hit. Yup. And guess what? Bug Buzz is going to do it to him. Latios. Oh, nah. Well, thankfully for us, we clicked Quiver Dance there because now we should be faster than this thing. And Dragon Pulse, Draco Plate Boosted is definitely going to take care of this Latios. This thing is a threat. And it's gone. Let's go. I think this is it. I think we won, guys. I think we've won. Auto levels up to level 79. Dragonite comes out here. Oh, probably has multi scale, right? I'll hold my mind and come on my Pokemon. It's her last. This is her last. All right, so we're going to go for the Dragon Pulse. I don't think it's going to KO because it's multi scale, most likely. Thankfully, it didn't E speed me, so I get damage off. It lives on 1 HP. Wow, that's crazy. But I think we've done so much damage to our team. It's their last Pokemon, right? It's leftovers. Yeah, we got this in the bag. Lucky. Who, guys, who should we let it finish it off? Lucky, the shiny Rapidash, our starter Pokemon Jack, or... Nah, not Ivy. We're going to do a Lucky. Let's let the shiny Pokemon get some shine. Let's go, Lucky. Set us off in a sparkling fashion. Beautiful. Beautiful. We did it, guys. We've defeated the champion. We've beat the ROM hack. One of the hardest ROM hacks that are out there right now. We've defeated it. I did my best, but we lost. We defeated it in a lot less blackouts than I thought we'd have. Just considering that I wasn't using any items in battle. I feel like I was gonna have like at least like 20, but I think we're at to 12, right? I think 12 is not that bad, honestly. I'm upset I couldn't win, but you know what? More than that, I'm happy. I mean, come on, by having a serious battle, you and your Pokemon, and me and my Pokemon, we all got to know one another better than before. Yup, we sure did. Okay, let's go. Okay, going ahead, hurry. I don't like the way that looks. I'm not gonna lie. That don't look right to me. That look right to y'all? That don't look right to me. <laughs> I don't lot look like that does not look right to me. I'm not even gonna say what that looks like. So this room is the Hall of Fame. Your name and your Pokemon's name will be recorded here, so these important things will never be forgotten. That you are an excellent and kind trainer, that you are considerate towards your Pokemon and you give them your whole heart. And that your wonderful Pokemon believe in their trainer with all their hearts. And together you have a strength that knows no bounds. Hey, come on. Oh, uh, excuse me. Shadow. To the trainer standing before me and to the Pokemon at your side, your beautiful bond has grown strong through uh, battle. In order to make this bond an eternal treasure, your name shall be recorded here.
Let's go. Yo, Mega. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Oh, it's tweaking out, guys. Unfortunate that it's tweaking out. Hopefully, it's not tweaking out too bad that I can show it. But it's definitely tweaking out. I'm not going to lie. Jack. We had Lucky. We had Erwin. Here's Ivy. This is fire. I'm not going to lie. I hope you guys... An Otta. The Buck type. I wish you guys could see it, but it was kind of tweaking out, so I'll try to add it. Here we are, League Champion. Let's go. We did it. I'm, I'm surprised my Pokemon are not behind me, but... Oh, there they are. Wait, only one of them? What happened to the rest of them? What happened to the rest of them? At least this cutscene isn't tweaking out. What a journey, guys. Hey, shout out to Adriano60 on Twitter and Apex Cubed for supplying this amazing experience of a ROM hack. If you guys do want to give this ROM hack a try, I'm going to supply the link in the description below. Like I said, though, what a great journey it was. Hope you guys did enjoy the series. This was my first YouTube series I've ever made on this channel. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you have any complaints or any advice that you guys can give me i'd appreciate it um make sure you guys follow me on twitter for future updates i'm gonna post my twitter down in the description below and thank you guys so much again man this is such a fun rom hack to play i liked all the changes that they added to the pokemon to make some pokemon better like flygon and other pokemon that we've definitely fought in here um i'm not gonna be done with this game yet we're going to go hunt some legendary Pokemon. I was asked to, I was actually asked to, um, in a comment below on one of my uh, uh, past videos to do like an episode solely for Honey Legendary. So we're going to get to that. We're going to do all the post game stuff as much as I can. And I hope you guys are excited for that. And if you are, make sure you subscribe so that you stay up to date. Turn your post notifications on so you don't miss a video. And I appreciate everyone who was here with me on this journey. Thank you so much. And guys, hope you guys have a great day or a great night. And hopefully I'll see you guys on my next adventure. Peace out.